Welcome back to the Middle-Aged Hack channel. I am Stuart and I am your Middle-Aged Hack. I am exploring life in the 20s as a child of the 80s and I invite you to come along on the journey with me. Ready? Let's get started. In another video, I tell you how much I really liked this R36S because for under $40, you get a console that really does an awful lot, thousands of games and a lot of customization. Well, I asked myself, okay, do I really need to spend 40 bucks or do I even need to spend less? While I was trolling around AliExpress, I came across this. This is the GB300 and it's from a company called SUP, as in, hey, SUP. I don't know, I don't know how they name these things. But the GB300 I was able to get for a grand total of about eight bucks. And so I asked myself, okay, what does this not have that this does have? And did I even overpay by paying $40 for something like this. And I wanted to create a little bit of a comparison video to let you know if you could even get away with paying less than $40 for something that ends up being very satisfying. Let's dig in. When I compare the overall look of both of these, the truth is that I like the GB300 a little bit better. Um, it's solid black where this is kind of a transparent kind of a look which didn't really appeal to me but it was the best option that I had at the time. Um, I think this is simpler, it's more, it feels like that more like a Game Boy Pocket kind of thing and it's lighter, it's, it's a lot lighter. It's not, that, it's not that this is really going to stop you or make you feel like overly, um, you know, like it's so heavy at the end of the day, but th this is incredibly light. I mean, there's, there's nothing to it. Um, both of these have SD card slots, so you can actually even load extra stuff on them. Uh, both of them have back shoulder buttons, although the R36S has four of them and the GB300 has only two. They both got pretty good, pretty bright screens. The GB300 is a little smaller and not quite as bright, but that's okay. The GB300 actually wins when it comes to a couple of things. Um, first of all, it does have a, an audio video out. This looks like a headphone jack, but it isn't. Uh, this will let you take it and dump it to uh, another, like a television or something like that in standard definition, um, where you just can't do that with the R36S, not in any way, not for any price. Looking at the batteries, the, the battery on the GB300 is an 18650, which is very easy sell to get and very easy to replace if you run out of battery on this thing. Um, as I've said before, the R36S has uh, a kind of a very specialized battery that is very hard to find. Uh, don't believe the people on Reddit who will tell you it's easy to find, because truth is, it's not. On the other hand, um, you can attach a controller to this and it does work. It does have two SD slots and that means you can have tons and tons and tons of games. It has a headphone jack, which uh, GB300 does not. It has two analog joysticks, which GB300 does not. And I haven't even gotten into the whole idea of customization. And that's really where this shines. You can customize the R36S to a ridiculous degree. It's all open source, so not only can you sort your game lists, hide some, uh, start you know on a particular game console if you want, and do anything you want. You can change graphics and things like that. You can completely theme the thing. So it's a whole other level of fun. But what if you don't want to do that? What if you just want something to play games? The GB300 gives you a decent menu, not great. Um, it does give you a lot of annoying sound effects while you're scrolling the menu. You get this, this song that just plays over and over and over again while you're scrolling the menu, and, and it's pain. You can turn the volume down very easily, 
but then you have to turn it up again when you play the game. Um, and, and GB300 doesn't give you a lot of customization options. It's, it's a little harder to navigate and it's just, you know, it, it's great for kind of now, but then when you get done playing some of the games you want to play and you want to fiddle with it, it's going to feel very limiting. Speaking of limiting, let's talk about the game selection. Yes, both of these consoles will let you load other ROMs onto them. However, you get basically six emulators with the GB300 and none of them are arcade games. You get, you know, your Nintendos and your Sega and Neo Geo and, and, and that's about it. Um, if that's what you're looking for, fantastic because it's got it. But if you're looking to play genuine arcade games, you can't do it on this console. Just can't do it. Uh, on the other hand, you can play any arcade game you can find on this cons console, and it comes with about a thousand of them. So pretty good chance you're going to find something that you already like. If arcade games are your style, you want to stay with this. You want to avoid the GB300. I will say that it comes with kind of cartridge versions of some of the arcade classics um, because you see a lot of stuff got ported over to cartridges and home game systems but they're never quite as good as the arcade systems and they never feel quite as true. Now let's talk about the real difference and that's in playability. A lot of people say this R36S isn't very playable because they say the, the buttons on the front are really kind of gummy. I disagree, and if you watch my other video, I'll tell you that as a casual gamer, I'm perfectly fine with these buttons. But when you get to this, the quality of the controllers really does hold you back. It just does. Um, I mean, it's very hard to push more than one button at the same time. The system doesn't like it when you do that. Um, and the controls are so imprecise and wandering, it's, it's pretty hard to, to jump, for example, which is a critical aspect of a lot of these games. And so it becomes more of an exercise and frustration if you're going to play the thing for more than about 10 minutes. But looking at it, am I glad I have both? Funny thing is, yes. And here's why. For $40, this is a great console, and the problem with it is I don't think it's incredibly durable. It's not gonna survive a drop test, and I, I assign it so much more value than the $40 that I paid for it. It is one of my favorite things right now. Uh, no, I'm not Oprah or anything like that, but it is one of my favorite things right now, and I like having it around. So I would really hate if I lost it. And yes, I get it. I could buy another one and whatever and, and get to customizing that and I'd be fine. I'd be out another 40 bucks. But if I'm going somewhere and I want something, I don't care if I drop it. I don't care if I accidentally leave it there. I don't care what happens to it, honestly. For eight bucks, this thing just really fits the bill. If I'm only going to be gaming for about 10 minutes, I can live with some of the things that I don't like about it. And there are a lot of things I don't like about it, but there are also an equal number of things that I do. I'm not advocating that everybody out there go and buy one of these, but for eight bucks, if you're going on a plane trip or something like that, and you just, you want something that's gonna work for you once, and you know, okay, you don't care if you lose it, Think about this GB300, it's available for usually under $10. Like I said, I got mine for eight bucks from AliExpress. Don't buy one from Amazon or from a local store like Five Below for 20 bucks. It's definitely not worth that, but it's worth eight bucks. It's worth playing around with. And uh, you know, the best part about it is, you know, okay, so I drop it. Oops, not a big deal. That's about it for the channel for this day. I'm going to ask you again, please like and subscribe because I'm trying to get this channel up to um, 1,000 subscribers as quickly as possible. That way I can monetize it. Um, you are a critical part of that. I appreciate every single view and I hope that you're enjoying what you're seeing. If not, leave a comment below because I'm open to all sorts of content and I'm open to anything that you wanna do. Have a great day. 
and I will see you next time on The Middle-Aged Hack.